It is the divine order sent down from God. The first commandment is you shall eat beyond meat. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to check out next level awareness with the video title Becoming Vegan and the Karmic Cycle. As far as I know, next level awareness is not a vegan himself, however, promotes a message of veganism and of new age. Let's have a look. The views and opinions expressed in this content are that of a continuously evolving nature and are subject to change as humanity evolves into higher states of awareness. Evolve. Hi everyone, so in this video I want to talk about veganism, my views on veganism, uh, what are things happening in our state of evolution at the moment. With Evolution, yet again. Veganism, of course, makes sense from a technocratic, transhuman, forcefully Darwinistic perspective. Let's see where he goes with that. Veganism, uh, because I do think it is something which will uh, be a worldwide thing eventually. <laughs> um, I think it is happening in divine order and I'm going to explain why. It is the divine order sent down from God. The first commandment is you shall eat beyond meat. Um, and a lot of people who are not vegan um, are not vegan for a reason. And the reason is because they haven't really awakened to that yet because <laughs> they still have this mm. programming in them that uh, loves the taste of meat. Um, their argument is which programming is that being human so we've always ate meat and um, which is a valid argument because without us eating meat in the past we might not have evolved to a point to where we are at the moment yet again evolution evolution and sprinkle in some more evolution where did you hear about evolution many of those alternative thinkers new agers still base their whole belief system on mainstream science. Evolution is just a theory. It hasn't been proven. Still, you take it at face value, you take it as gospel, and you base your whole worldview on evolution. We might be a totally different species uh, if we didn't eat meat in the past. Mm -hmm. One of the things about this is um, I don't necessarily think we had to eat meat in the past, but our level of awareness brought us to a place where we, we uh, ate meat because we didn't have the knowledge or enough knowledge of how to... As I said in my previous video, the new age is not a concise dogma. As you can see, it is very wishy-washy back and forth. If we didn't eat meat, we wouldn't have been humans. However, I personally believe that actually we didn't have to eat meat because we could have done something else. But probably our state of awareness was at that point, at that point in time. Come on, man. What is it? Grow specific crops, how to farm, etc. Um, so eating meat was just a natural thing for us uh, back in the day. If you know anything about anthropology, you will see that once we started cultivating farmland, our health declined. Fast forward into the modern day and age and you will see that all that processed junk is destroying our health. But what do I know? Maybe we just evolved wrong. Um, and I think this is now instilled in our programming. Um, but now we're at a stage where we don't necessarily need to eat meat anymore because Why? we now know how to survive without it. Okay? We? we now know how to farm, we know how to create all the crops and the food necessary. There is not one single civilization that is vegan. Even though they started cultivating crops, they still have animal foods. Actually, the majority of their calories are still coming from animals. But somehow, spiritually aligned, evolved Westerners know exactly how to cultivate plants without spending one day at a farm. That we don't have to kill animals anymore. Uh, we've got that knowledge now. So there's no reason why we should still eat meat in this present day. We have that knowledge now. Still, over 90% of vegans drop out of veganism. Even 85% drop out within the first three years. How do we have all that knowledge and still can't make it work? You just have to Google ex-vegans and you will see that people are dropping out of veganism left and right. They're getting sick. They're losing their teeth. They're losing their health. But I guess they just did it wrong. But if everybody became vegan all at once, then the world probably wouldn't cope, you see, because it wouldn't have 
enough resources to to like to, to cover the whole world's eating habits and um, and I think this is something that has to progress with time which is why all the vegans out there are doing this for a reason they're the first okay they're the pinnacle of, of the, the future pinnacle of evolution okay they're, they're yes. kind of the, the trendsetters and um, those are doing a very good job at the moment my partner's vegan, so I'm pretty much vegan myself. Uh, I do eat... It's always a woman, isn't it? ...meat occasionally still, um, but nowhere near as much as I used to. And uh, I'm probably more of a vegetarian, I would say, at the moment. Um, <laughs> but with technology, the meat's becoming beautiful anyway, okay? Vegan meat often what? tastes better than normal meat. Better Which even. is where I'm <laughs> going with the next part of this uh, topic, which is technology. And it's all about taste anyways, right? Doesn't matter that you have 700 different chemical ingredients within plant-based meat. And if you eat regular meat, you just have one. Doesn't matter as long as it tastes good. Now, technology is going to be our savior for turning <laughs> the whole... What did I say in the beginning? It is always about a technocratic worldview, a transhuman worldview. Those people want to believe in evolution, but at the same time defy it all together. Everything that is natural is absolutely bad, but evolution is good. You cannot have it both ways. Which one is it? Those people hate everything that is natural. They hate everything that is God-given. They want to transcend their own dirty flesh by eating plant-based schnitzel and becoming cyborgs. It is absolutely ridiculous. But it's vegan because as technology grows, uh, the vegan meats are going to taste more realistic. Eventually, we're going to... More realistic. I thought we overcame that programming of wanting meat. Why do we create something that tastes like meat? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If you evolve from a fish into a monkey, next thing you know, you will be attracted to bananas naturally you see this theory doesn't make any sense whatsoever but still if you follow this doctrine you will have to acknowledge that every species has its species specific diet and when you evolve into the next thing you will be attracted to that particular food source but now you evolved your consciousness expanded and you are attracted to soy schnitzel yeah right be able to replicate meat with 3d printers which is pretty much the same as standard meat which would mean we won't have to kill the animals anymore sure pretty much um, the same and i'm a big fan of star trek okay i love <laughs> star trek the next generation that explains a lot replicators on there just it's not as if you have been brainwashed by mainstream media and the indoctrination in the school system no not at all you are a free thinker replicate food uh, with all the nutrition in them that you need as well and mm. i think that will become uh, a thing in the future as well so i think technology wow. is overall going to be our savior when it comes to yes, stopping our savior because jesus christ didn't come into this world we need a new savior we need bill gates we need ray kurzweil we need michu kaku to print meat for us our new lord and savior god bless the technocracy to eat meat so i think in the future we will stop eating meat okay it's it's inevitable because we'll realize as well as we go on a higher level of awareness that <laughs> all animals and the consciousness in animals are us anyway when i look at animals now i see myself okay when you reach a certain level of awareness you see yourself in animals you see yourself in everything um and i'm starting to feel that eat do you see yourself in plants and meats no? uh, similar to eating myself yeah, that's the way I kind of feel. And when I go out now and I see... This is the typical New Age worldview. This is nothing new. Everything is one. It is one living organism. And therefore, you see yourself in the other. Even if you subscribe to this doctrine, you still would have to see yourself within plants. Within, literally, everything. Therefore, you cannot make any exception. The dog is not more valuable than the plant within that worldview. Mm. Say, say real sausages or real meat um, I'm, I'm a little bit repulsed because I see it as as flesh and bone okay? I see it as myself um, which is yet again absolutely pointless if you subscribe to the spiritual perspective of everything being one then you speak about 
everything. You speak about every material, about every molecule. You talk about water. You talk about earth. You talk about flesh, about blood. You talk about the air. You talk about every fabric within that universe. So you saying, if you look at a sausage, you see flesh and blood because you see yourself. This is ridiculous even within your own alleged worldview. If you truly would be spiritually enlightened and you see yourself within everything, you wouldn't distinct between flesh and bone and any other substance. Now you're sitting there telling me that you see yourself within that sausage. You're still bound to the flesh body. You didn't transcend anything. What a lot of vegan feel a lot of vegans are disgusted by meat okay if there's a little bit of meat touches the plate they'll not even eat the food on the plate because the meat's actually touched it this is how um this is how they think about this guys and this is not wrong okay this is right oh that is right why what is wrong what is right where do we derive right and wrong from can you please explain all life is us okay life needs to be respected it's consciousness animals do feel pain uh, my partner always goes on about um, how the chickens are treated in factories um, Poor guy. and what she reckons is if uh, if a male chick is born it's instantly uh, chucked into a kind of grinder and it just instantly dies okay because they can't produce the eggs and the things needed to sustain uh, the eating habits of the world and also the 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 climate change is affected. I'm not necessarily a believer in climate change. Not necessarily, but actually, I'm still going to use that argument. Caused by humans. We might have a little bit of contribution, but I, I think it is more of a, a natural phenomenon than it is us humans. Mm. But a lot of the, um, the gases and the CO2s are emitted by uh, animals that have been specially designed and I don't really believe in climate change but if we're talking about veganism I'm going to believe in climate change bread just so we can eat them you see so and this is also taking a lot of the earth's resources as well <laughs> and I think that we will eventually get to a stage where we we we, we don't eat meat anymore and we can our resources are a lot better we can uh, farm all the correct crops we can uh, manipulate tastes of meat um, and eventually this will fade out I think eventually in the future we'll, we'll not even need or we'll not even have a taste for meat anymore because that you will think? eventually evolve as well mm. um, and by that premise it's not a forced evolution so as you said yourself now you still didn't evolve out of liking meat but we're going to force ourselves into not liking meat why would we do that? So yes, Why? we are on the right track here, guys. All those <laughs> vegans out there. What is the right track? How do we know what right and wrong is? How do you derive your morals, your ethics, your worldview? How does it come about? What is it based on? On evolution, climate change and Star Trek? Are the first <laughs> to do this and they're going to um, set the trend um, and they're going to kind of teach us all uh, the rights and wrongs of... of killing animals because in this day and age nice they gonna teach us all very good law-abiding citizen please teach me your ways there's no really wow. need, real reason to, reason to kill them lost and i think um once we all jump on that wagon which we will eventually because mm. meat fake meat's gonna end up tasting better than real meat and that'll <laughs> bring all the non-vegans into veganism as well and eventually, when you do this, you do increase your vibrational awareness, okay? Oh, yeah, of course. Now you convinced me. When you do this, you do increase your vibrational awareness, okay? Since I've stopped eating meat in general, um, I do feel a lot better in myself, okay? So there is some karmic energy in the cycle as well. So all those animals we kill creates a karmic energy that comes and affects everybody that's part of that karmic cycle of killing. Okay, mm. that's, so you, you, your vibrational frequency does increase as well. It affects everybody. So the guy that brought the plant-based schnitzel to the supermarket, was he a meat eater? The owner of that company, was he a meat eater? The owner of that supermarket, was he a meat eater? Etc, etc, etc. Which karmic chain do you speak about? I've noticed that. Um, so what's your thoughts on this, guys? Because this is just um, a quick video I, I decided to make because I was thinking about this today. Uh, are you vegan? A lot of you probably nope. are already. If you're not, what's your Definitely views on not. that? Do you think you eventually will become vegan? Never uh, again. Because I think everybody will eventually. Nope. And um, yeah, just want your opinion on that, guys. And uh, 
That's you my got mine. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the new age is never concise. It's never precise. It doesn't have a clear line to follow. It is wishy-washy. It has many different ideas. But if you put them to the test, you will see that they all crumble. It doesn't make sense. It is a technocratic worldview that is not suited for human consumption in the most literal sense. This is a pushed globalist agenda to remove us from our food supply. It is a psyop in which many so-called new agers find themselves in. I personally was a vegan for four years for spiritual beliefs, or should I say pre-last absolute spiritual deception. It is a dead end. It won't lead you to spiritual enlightenment, but straight to hell. All right, guys, but this is it. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. Я твой,